Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Berlin Alexander Plots. And this is a three-hour remake of a drama about a man from Guinea Bussai Bousseau who moves to Germany where he befriends a drug dealer and two women. And this is from director Berhan Kurbani and based off of the novel of Alfred Doblin, and this is quite, quite, quite the ambitious film. And this was adapted originally in the 80s as a miniseries, and here we're giving it some life and some new modern sensibility, and a very in-your-face adaptation. Right off the bat, you get this unbelievably poignant opening sequence of being upside down in the ocean with this red light emanating from the sky. And the cinematography here from Yoshi Heimreth is absolutely breathtaking. And um, Dasha Doenhauer, whose score really underlines everything going on in this film, and this opening sequence really grabs your attention and this unbelievable use of color and lighting here throughout the film really gives some personality and some zest to the atmosphere of the film. It really grabs you and you have this voiceover at the beginning that really sets the stage for this young man and you have the camera work from the cinematographer here and director um, Kirbani, which has some great tracking shots, really great framing, and really brings a lot of personality to this film. And you have these really uncomfortable moments of, you have our main character here, Francis, played by uh, Welkit Bungay, who is off in the woods with a prostitute who's trying to, like, have sexual relations with him and he gets so uncomfortable and there's some great tension in these scenes setting up in the beginning of this film and you definitely see some very poignant racial tensions going on in the film as well and it really brings on that like other coming in and like taking things from native of the quote-unquote native people of the plays so like the Germans here not liking him coming in and changing things and Things are very poignant here, and we have really inspired, like, effective, twisting shots of the camera, these Dutch angles. It, you have this very, you have scenes that are very unbelievably graphic and just pulls you in here with, like, <clears throat> sexual relations that happen in the film. You have Albrecht Schuch, who plays Reinhold, who is this very interesting and just compelling character that you have here who really is such an interesting conflicting character here for the film and this film is very like this the miniseries is based off of the, in the book the miniseries was like 15 hours so really trying to balance a lot of different things this film tries to cram a lot into three hours and it's very ambitious, it's very well created technically. I feel like this film is a bit of a bridge too far. It tries to do so much with all these different characters, with great performances, and some inspired direction, but it never really hits the mark and really elevates to really grab you more than just, I was really impressed with this film technically, and with the performances and the ambition of it, but in the end, I feel like this is, like, obviously, narratively, it's not really the same, but like a, cl a cloud atlas. This epic-sized film that is a real achievement in many ways, but might not always be firing on all cylinders and really capitalizing on its concepts. And I feel like this adaptation of the story, which is very well-renowned, is a bit of a mixed bag. And could see why this has like a 14% on Rotten Tomatoes with only seven reviews because I could see how a lot of people will be put off by this. Generally, I feel like 
I leaned more towards, I got more out of this than I didn't. So this is like a soft, fresh review for me if I was thinking about it that way. But I definitely think this is ambitious enough that it's worth giving it a try for all you cinephiles out there. So if you're ambitious and want to take on a 2 hour and 55 minute epic drama tonight or sometime, go check out Berlin Alexander Plotz. But those are my thoughts on this new adaptation. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.